you have a new invention and you're thinking about filing a patent application. And then the question arises, should you get a patent search or should you do a patent search before you file the application? The truth is, this whole subject is just a morass, depending on who you ask. If you search on the internet, there are non-patent attorneys who will tell you, yes, you absolutely have to get a patent search done. Or there are some patent attorneys that say, hey, a patent search may not be necessary. What's the correct answer? The truth is, it's very context and fact dependent. And today I'm gonna break it down for you. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. So let's review what a patent search is. A patent search is a review of existing patents or publications that describe the invention that you're trying to patent. If you're going to get a patent for your idea, your invention must be new, useful, and non-obvious. And the purpose of the patent search is to determine whether there are patents that currently exist or publications that currently exist that would anticipate your invention, that is, would already describe the invention that you're trying to patent, or would render your invention obvious. It wasn't so many years ago that these patent searches needed to be done by hand. In the early part of my career, I would regularly travel to the patent office located in Washington, D.C., or to one of the half a dozen or so satellite patent offices. We had one located in Sunnyvale, California, here in Silicon Valley. And by hand, I would sort through the six or seven million patents that were existing at the time to determine whether there was a patent that was even vaguely related to the invention I was searching for. Obviously, this hand searching, either done by me or someone I commissioned, was time consuming and expensive. And the worst part of these patent searches is you were almost guaranteed not to find everything. In some cases, there would just be patents missing from the stacks. And in other cases, the invalidating or relevant information you were looking for would be buried in the middle of the document and not really obvious as you were quickly scanning through the document by hand. Patent searches have changed a lot in the last 10 or 20 years with the advent of online patent databases and the ever improving search tools, now including artificial intelligence. Online patent repositories like Google Patents and the USPTO database make patent searching so much easier and so much more accurate. Because of that, there are a lot more options with respect to patent searching. You can do your own patent search and get pretty good results if you're methodical about how you approach the search. There's been a proliferation of online searching companies that promise to do patent searching for an ultra low price. However, even the cost of commissioning a professional patent search has de been declining over recent years. But most importantly, these professional searches can provide more accurate results than ever before. This gets back to the original question. Should you get a patent search done before you file a patent application? Well, I have a short checklist, a couple of questions you can ask yourself to answer this question. I'll get to it in just a minute, but first let's talk about the pros and cons of getting a patent search. The first reason you may want to get a patent search is that patent applications are expensive and they take time. You want to avoid filing a patent application if there's little chance that you're actually going to get a patent. In reality, the majority of all patent applications that are filed by patent attorneys and prosecuted by patent attorneys end up being granted and issue into a granted patent. It's actually pretty rare that a prior patent or a previous publication will completely knock out a patent application and prevent a patent from being granted. More likely, the breadth or the scope of the patent application may be affected by the prior art. It's not that someone has patented the exact same invention that you have, but that they have an invention that's fairly close and the patent office is gonna to wanna to narrow the scope of the invention that you're applying for a patent on. But nevertheless, it's a real thing that when filing a patent application, you may sleep better just knowing that you've done a patent search and you haven't found prior patents covering the same invention. A second reason that you may want to do a patent search is that the patent search can help you strengthen your invention, your idea. You may be able to modify your idea and make your invention better. 
by looking at prior patents, you actually may get some ideas on how to improve your invention. And for this reason alone, patent searches may be valuable for you. And a third reason to do a patent search is that if you do find a prior patent or prior reference that's close to your invention, it's possible when writing the description of your invention to distinguish your invention with respect to the prior art, to describe the differences, and to enhance the expression of novelty with respect to your invention over the prior art. But there are some downsides to getting a patent search done as well. First of all, they're expensive. Getting a professional patent search done by a reputable search firm can cost up to several thousand dollars. And even though it may be possible to get less expensive searches done, you're still going to need to evaluate the search results. And this is probably gonna to need to happen with the help of an attorney. A second negative to getting a patent search done is they can sometimes take a while. It can delay the preparation and filing of your patent application. Sometimes a search can take two or three weeks and it may be better to just get your patent application written up and on file. And while you're delaying in the filing of your patent application, it's possible, although remotely so, that someone else may file an intervening patent application on the same invention that you're in the process of searching. Again, this is usually pretty remote, but under certain circumstances, it could happen and should be considered. A third negative to consider when getting a patent search done is the problem of false negatives. Because inventions can be difficult to search, there's no guarantee that you'll have found all the prior art related to your invention. And for this reason, it's possible to get a false sense of security when your search results come back and there's no prior art that's been identified. And so with those pros and cons, I have a checklist of three circumstances in which you may wanna consider either doing a patent search yourself or commissioning a professional patent search. So the first circumstance for which you may wanna get a patent search done or do a patent search yourself is if you're an underfunded solo inventor or underfunded startup. In this circumstance, the investment cost of getting the patent is high relative to your resources, and you'd like to hedge your risk a bit against complete failure of the patent application process. That is, it would really feel like a disaster if you filed a patent application and ended up either with no patent application because of some identified prior art or that your patent invention has been so completely narrowed as to be relatively useless for the purposes of the protection that you are seeking. In this case, the patent search acts as a bit of an insurance policy against complete loss of your patent application due to prior art. A patent search is not a complete guarantee that your patent will be granted, but it does help you reduce the risk of the loss of the investment in the application process. A second circumstance in which a patent search might make a lot of sense is if you're still in the ideation stage, you're still brainstorming ideas and thinking about the new product that you're planning to design. In this case, doing a patent search can help you generate new ideas, help with your creativity, and make your product better by incorporating some of the ideas of others. And a third reason that a patent search might be helpful for you is if you're innovating in a new and complex space, a place where the vocabulary has not been fully developed and you're not quite sure how to best structure a patent application on the invention that you're working on. Where the technology is very new, it's super helpful to rely on patent applications applications that have been previously filed, especially if the patent applications have been granted. You can incorporate some of their vocabulary and descriptive verbiage so that others in this space can better understand what it is you're trying to describe and what it is you're trying to claim as your invention. Okay, so that's my checklist of three circumstances in which you may wanna do a patent search prior to filing a patent application. 
One of the reasons it's so difficult to definitively answer the question as to whether you should get a patent search done before filing your patent application is that the answer is different for each person and for each set of circumstances. It's a bit like purchasing insurance. If finding out that your invention is not patentable after the application is filed would create a financial or business hardship, then it may be worth it for you to have a patent search performed prior to filing the patent application. For others, however, just as with insurance, they may be perfectly happy to self-insure, accepting the downside and the loss in the event that the patent application didn't work out. It's important to emphasize again, however, that if you're working with an experienced patent attorney, the likelihood of your patent application actually being granted is pretty high, whether you do a patent search or not. If you're still unsure as to whether a patent search makes sense for you, discuss it with your patent attorney. They'll be happy to advise you in your particular case. And if you don't have a patent attorney and you'd like to talk with someone about your invention or your company's patent portfolio, I can be reached at the email address below. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about patent searches, I made this next video for you and I think you'll find it super interesting. I'll see you over there.